everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and we have a fun project for you. It is Triple Play Day. Yes! yes. And we know that it's November, and we know that, you know, this is the time There's when... There's a lot going so on. There's a lot happening. going on, so much to do, but we still want to make cool gifts and fun things. So we have three really fast table runner ideas for you, for gifting, for your tables, plopping over your pianos, whatever you want to do with them. Uh, these are going to be three really easy and fun ideas for you. So we're going to start with Miss Misty here. Perfect. Yeah, they all use half-square triangles. That's they what do. we decided mm -hmm. for the block this month. And mine is this one that you see here. I called it Spinning Star. And it measures 16 by 49. And it's just really quick and easy. I had a charm pack for my uh, pre-cut to make this mine. A, this is actually fun this time because we all had a different pre-cut. Yes. Yeah. And so you'll learn lots of ways to make to half, make square triangles. half square triangles. And so I used Happiness Blooms by Deb Strain for Moda. And to make my block, I kind of went through the pack and I just picked out um, two like fabrics for the star in the middle. And so I've got... Oh, this is cool because I would have thought these were the same fabric. But they're not. No, they're not. They just kind of blend good? together. Oh, that's a surprise for surprise. later. Surprise. <laughs> it's okay. So then I've got two of those kind of darks that I'll use for my star. And every single one of these prints is going to pair with a background square, a five-inch background square. Very cool. And then I have one green that will pair with a background square. Oops. And then one kind of tan. It has just occurred to me that you should be here. Oh, and well. And I will move over. That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. We can make this work. And so for each of these, the um, construction is the exact same. So let's just start with one of them. We'll do this green guy. And we are just going to sew on all four sides. Nice. I can do that. We're doing the four at a time method. Now we're all just going to stare at Natalie. And watch now. She's got this. Yeah. You got it. What do these square up to, Misty? I squared them up to three. Three. Yep. You might be able to get like three and a quarter, but I liked that nice round number. It's nice number. to have a cushion, yeah. Yep. Especially when you're squaring, yep. you know, to make them I all like the same too. size. There we go. All right, so now that we've sewn all four sides, we're going to take our little ruler and cut I'm diagonally. Be ready with my iron. <laughs> Perfect. Both directions. Whoops. There we go. And then we will press those open to the dark side. This is one of those times where a rotating mat is handy. It's true. And don't, uh, you know, don't forget that a little mat, a small mat, can rotate. You just you know. pick it up. And you don't move actually it. have to have a rotating mat. You can just pick it up and move it. But it's always better to be safe when you're cutting. If any time you're cutting, it feels awkward. Just, you know. Just rethink what you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> Try a different angle. So I squared mine with the block lock just because that's my preference, mm -hmm. but you could totally use the Clearly Perfect. You would just do it before you get to this point. You would square before you trim, or I mean before you press. Sorry, my brain isn't working. And so I am looking for three inches, so I'm just going to slide this on here. The part with the words is always on your background fabric. If you press to the dark if side. If you press to the dark side, exactly. So we'll trim that. And then I just slide this down so that my square side is on the three. And we'll trim off the other side now. There we go. And sometimes you only need to square one side. But yeah. Sometimes you need to square it both. It just depends. Like this one looks pretty straight. So let's look at one more. Like that side already looks really yeah, straight. Yeah, it's perfect. So you can just And so then I can side. just trim this one side. This is a really fun go. line of fabric. It is, isn't it cute? Yeah. So there you go. And you're just going to do the same thing to all of those sets that I um, started with at the beginning. I have them all squared up and ready to go. And so now we're just going to lay it out. And again, this is the block we're looking at. Exactly. And I did find with this block, I really had to have my, my template in front of me. I got a little yes. turned around <laughs> many times. And so on this one, I use the blue for my spinning star, so I'm just going to lay those out first. Oh, see, I'm already turned. Would it help you to just do a, a, a quarter? Yes, because they're all the same. Okay. So, yes. So you do four oh, of actually, those. Actually, I need one of each of these prints. And then 
two of them will have green and two of them will have beige. But if I'm following exactly, I better use the beige, right? And so that is how the first quadrant goes. And there, so that you're speaking of this one. This right one here. here. Okay. Top mm -hmm. left. And so they're all essentially the same, but they just spin around. And I did kind of play with my fabric a little bit. I picked out that green so that you can see on the runner, it kind of spins around by putting it in the same place. It staggers it a bit throughout oh, yeah. it. So it's just, you, you kind of want to pay attention to where you put your fabric, but it all comes together pretty quick. So Cute. let's just finish laying this out. It is helpful to know that it makes this diamond in the center. That was like a little guide for me. There we go. And we'll just keep now, going. Now, once you got this laid out, did you do it in rows? I did. did. Okay. I did it in rows because I had to go to all this trouble to lay the whole thing out yes. anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just kept going from well, that point. Well, especially when you're wanting certain colors in certain spots. Yes. It's really helpful to lay it out. Exactly. And that's kind of what I found. I just, just had better luck that way. And so then these go here. We are almost done. And one more this way, just like so. And then I did, cool. I just sewed it in rows and this is your finished block, just like so. Turns out really cute. And I did make one just in solids because I thought it would be really cute Look at Christmas for the Eve. holidays. Yeah, that's so fun. <laughs> so it just comes together really quick. And then to finish it up, I sashed in between the blocks with an inch and a half sashing and then a two and a half inch outer border and used curly twirly flowers to quilt it. And that same little floral print on the back. So, so cute. Now, how much of your charm pack would you say you used? Probably about half. So you could do two yeah. runners out of a charm pack. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I said, but you need about a half yard of your background and a half yard for your outer border. Mm -hmm. And so that'll give you plenty to do one runner. So if you want to double it up, you'll just need a little bit That's more. That's right. Because yeah. a lot of us like to give gifts at Christmas time. Exactly. And it's really fun to, to be able to get a couple of things out of a charm pack. A lot of times we'll have this spare charm pack that exactly. we bought on a daily deal. And now you have We're something sure to, to do with it. it. <laughs> now it's fun. Yeah. Exactly. That is very fun. Well, all awesome. Right. So you're up next, I, I think, right? Next. Let me yeah. clean all this up. So mine, I'm just calling it half square triangle star because I had a jelly roll to work with. And, um, and so I'll let you back in the middle. I've got some, I've got some pieces of fabric here to show things and I've got loads of half square triangles. So I used Blue Escape by Edita Sitar of Laundry Basket Quilts and it is, you know, she has all the blues and then all the beiges. So I had background color right away. That's you know, so nice. So and so I didn't have to have any extra background because I have it right in there. And then I used for my outer border right here, a little half a yard. And I actually, mine is, is 64 inches long. And so it's a nice long. It, it mm -hmm. goes way down here. You know, I've got one, two, three, four, five stars. And I have a very long table at my house. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's probably... 10 or 12 feet long. I'd say at least 10. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty long it's table. Long. And mm -hmm. so I like a nice long runner and I sometimes like them over the, to hang over the ends. I also like them on my island. I make a small mm -hmm. runner for my island and I like them on top of my piano, which also yeah. requires a long runner. Yes. And so runners are everywhere at my house. So mine is 64 well, by 16. Sorry. What? I was, I was just going to say with a jelly roll, you can make it as long as you want. Or you yes. can make many. You really you can. can. Some gives you so ones, much fabric. Well, and like even with Misty's, if she'd used her whole oh, totally. chart pack, yeah, that yeah. would yeah. be very going. long. Yep. You know, so in my mind, I'm thinking of the places I want to use them mm -hmm. and then the people also that I want to give them to and how it works for them. So for me, mine was, um, I t sewed two strips together and I have them in here, in this little pile right here. Here it is. So I sewed two strips together like this, a dark and a light. And then I just used the Clearly Perfect Slotted Trimmer uh, B for the whole sizes. And I, um, and I just went and cut it from side to side like this. So I'm cutting it. Oh, the, you sewed on both sides. Yes, sewed on both sides. Ah. So I get twice as many um, half square triangles and you can press, press that, that open. Absolutely. And I just line my line up with their stitch line and we, we just switch the, the uh, cutter from, we just rotate it top to bottom. Here, let That's me move, great. So they're move these out of the way. They're three inches, huh? Oh, I did want to show something with that backing. So okay. re I'll remind me when we get to the backing now. part um, that I want to share something about the backing. 
So yeah, you just keep flipping them over like this and flipping them over like this. So I made the little stars, which were very fun and very, very quick and easy for me. And um, I have a little block here. Let me find it. Oh, here it is. And, uh, and so I kept my star one color, which requires um, two, two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of my half square triangles. And so because I had 12 half square triangles, what I did was I gathered them up in the same color. So I'm gonna gather 12 of those right here. One, two, three, four. And what I want you to do, Natalie, is I want you to sew them all together with the whites to the center, okay? okay. So we're gonna sew six sets of those. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I gotta find the rest, hang on. Wait, let me make sure I have more of those ones and I didn't use half and half. Oh, no, here they are. Okay, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. There should be one more. There should be one more. Oh no, is it in here somewhere? Two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. No, I got plenty. I was gonna say there's one more if you yeah. need it. And you'll have one left from the these 11, I mean these 12. <laughs> now I've really messed myself up. <laughs> so you're gonna need 12. You're gonna sew them together in sets of six. And we're just gonna do that to all of our sets. Just get that right out of the way. That's a fun trick. And then it's just, you know, it's one of those things that's where it's like, if you're gonna do this one time, you, you, you might as well do it, six. do it all the time. Yeah. And then I took some light squares for my corners, so I need four of those, and I'll just set those out here. And I chose to match those up as well, so let me find four matchers. Oh wait, here's some light ones here. And you could do solid squares there really easily, you know, whatever it takes. Misty, actually, will you press this a little yes, bit while I will. we're waiting? Absolutely. All right. That one went so in, now in we're just going to clip these and have Misty iron them open. Okay. And then we'll lay that out so you can see how it all goes together so quick and easy. It's really fun. So my quilting pattern on this is the Baptist fan. And I love that, you know, I love just that curvy quilting on here. Yeah, I do too. And I love just that makes it pattern. Really cute. Misty, what was your pattern? Your it was pattern? curly twirly flowers. Curly twirly mm -hmm. flowers, yep. which we love. All right, so two of these we're gonna sew together this way. That's gonna make our center. And I'll have Natalie do that right now. Okay. And then two of these are gonna have uh, blocks on the end. And we want to keep our light color to the inside like this and our light to the inside with the dark. If this goes this way, they should be exactly the same. And then you're just gonna match up that middle seam, nest up that seam. And stars are so great for anything. I mean, that, they're great for Christmas, they're great for, I mean, I love stars. So, I do uh, too. So this is a quick, easy star. And also, you know, when you think about, if you'll iron this, that would be great. Mm -hmm. do these? Yeah, go ahead and do those. Um, and, and the thing about uh, doing this, if you think about their half square triangles, so you think about all the methods we've taught over the years of half square triangles and the different sizes you can get. You know, if we took Misty's two charm packs and did the easy eight on there. Oh, they'd be tiny. Well, they're about two inches, yeah. you know, and it would be tiny little, you know, and you could do her tiny blocks, you could do my tiny stars, you could do Natalie's little blocks. So any size charm pack, I mean any size uh, half, half square, square triangle, triangle will work with these and it just makes it really, really quick. I'm loving fun. this stripe. Isn't that fun? It's really fun. So Natalie's going to sew the ends on these and then what we're going to do is we're going to sew the legs on this side right here. So sew our legs to the middle. Perfect. And it just makes a fast little star. And I'm probably going to have to sew a bunch of these more together because I just think you it's You just so might, yeah. You've I'm, got a lot ready, so you might as well. I'm pretty sure, you know, whoever I gave them to would love them. We would. I can attest to that. I would. Yep, I would too. All right, so let's clip this apart. Oh, sorry. Go ahead and uh, right. press those, and then one of these legs goes on either side of that middle. Okay. Just 
this over here. I, I can probably start cleaning up my mess. <laughs> I have so many half square triangles. So you can, you can see right here, literally, how many of these could we make? I don't even know, but a lot. A lot. And, a lot. I'm, I'm, uh, and I just sewed my whole, my whole jelly roll into two and a half inch square, or, or sewed my strips together and cut them into half square triangles. And so it really does make a lot of them. And, um, you know, I mean, it's a great, a great easy way to do gifting for, for the holidays. I mean, this would be really cute. And I hope those points are good. They're good enough for me. Yep. <laughs> we'll see. So um, I love the, I would love this to see this in um, like Thanksgiving colors. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it'd be so, cute. so pretty. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this one on this way. And this one on this way, and just like that, we You've get a, got a star. Block. Beautiful. And so, if you want to sew those together, then I won't I have to sew it together later when That's I'm making true. It'll ten be more of these. Ready to go. <laughs> That's right. But also, think about this: like if you had nine, three rows of three, it would be a darling baby quilt. Yes, it would. Such a cute baby quilt. And so, um, you know, it, there's just so many things you can do with these blocks when you think about them as individual blocks. I mean, we're showing you runners, but say you have a square table. Natalie had a square table, and Instead of putting four long, we just put them next to each yeah. other, you know, and did the little border on there. So whatever table you have that will work, you know, it just makes it quick and easy and very fun. And sometimes we just need something quick and easy, don't we? Absolutely, sometimes. especially around the holidays. Well, we want it to look, ooh, oh, mm -hmm. you know, without, <laughs> without all that time constraint and all that work, so... One more seam. That's it. And our star Working is done. On it. Just matching yep. seams. It looks great. I'm well, and that's, best. <laughs> that's actually one of the things I love about um, these smaller blocks is that every time a seam comes together, it like realigns you. I love that too. Keeps you know, it straight. Keeps it straight. Yeah. You don't end up with a half an inch off mm -hmm. the edge where you're going, how did this happen? And of course, yeah. Edita makes beautiful fabric. It's so pretty. So go ahead and press that out. All right. So on mine also, once I did my star, I did a little two and a half inch border in between, a little sashing. And I just took the jelly roll, a light jelly roll, right out of my roll that I hadn't used yet. Mm -hmm. And so I just sewed that same jelly roll, did all of my strips. I didn't feel like I needed an out an inner border because I was using this darker piece out here. And then this is my back here. Oh, it's oh, that's so, so pretty. pretty. And, uh, and I just wanted to show you right here, right, where is it? Here, there's a seam. There's a seam on here. So a lot of times a pattern will give you yardage for your runner to run this way. Mm -hmm. Mine is 64 inches long, which means that if I cut width strips of fabric, so if I cut them, like this. So you, you would need two yards of, or a little bit more than two yards if you were going to go lengthwise. If you were going to go lengthwise, you would leave, need a little bit more than two yards because it's 64 inches long. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to fold it this way, selvage to selvage, at the fold, you're getting 40 inches. You're going to sew it to another one that's 80 inches, and you're literally only going to need a yard because a half a yard is plenty of extra on either side for how, your. How wide, how wide is, is yours? Oh, it's what is it? Oh, 16. 16. So, so maybe so three quarters a little bit of a more. Yard. So it's a yard and a half so total. So a yard and a half total, yeah. yeah. So it saves you a little bit it if you're saves, willing to yeah. seam it. It yeah. does mm -hmm. save you a little bit, and you can seam it. And I always think in terms of saving fabric mm -hmm. and that yes. sort of thing. For sure. All right, well, Natalie, now you can show your wonderful way of half square triangles. Okay. All right. Very exciting. And I'm happy to sew. Okay, I'll keep pressing. All right. We'll do -si -do. So I, I particularly yeah. love your fabric now. I do too. I do too. It's great. It's a beautiful line. It has so, a texture to it. Yeah, it's an Essex linen. They gave me um, this beautiful around the bend fat quarter bundle, which you can make many, many, many table runners yes. with. Many, or a many. whole quilt because it would so be gorgeous. Many. It would be gorgeous. It was beautiful to sew on. It's just soft and it's really So I, uh, I called mine migration because it's just flying geese. Mm -hmm. And really um, around the bend by Anna Graham for Robert Kaufman. It's 20 by 36, and I used chevrons for the quilting pattern because I think it's really cute. Oh. 
And I just wanted to like throw out a suggestion. So whenever I send something into the machine quilting, if it's a table runner, I ask them to make my pattern a little smaller to mm -hmm. fit the runner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because this chevron pattern, if they put it on a quilt, it would be much larger. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And I like a little bit smaller quilting on my table runners so that they're a little flatter. So um, you'll need what are you, three fourths of a yard for backing. Mm -hmm. It's pretty small. And it's 20 by 36, so it fits in a yard. Lengthwise, right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I did some border, but everything that you see in the middle of the quilt comes from the fat quarters. Okay. Oh, wow. So I'm going to go ahead and pull. So did you just choose like three fat quarters? Or? I chose four. Four, okay. Four fat quarters. So I have oh, two lights and then two darks that, that are similar. Oh, yes. I need a little pair of scissors to cut this. Up. Okay. Well, actually, never mind. It just comes right off just wait, like that. Wait. She was you ready. so close. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I went through the whole pack, and there's a bunch that are very similar. So I selected these two for my lights, because I really like them. Mm -hmm. And then these ones are my darks, because they look very similar. So when you look at, actually, hang on, it's this one. When you look at this quilt, it looks like it's all the same fabric, but it really isn't. I've got this one here with the black centers uh -huh. and then this one here does not have oh. the black centers but you can't really tell so it looks like a continuous yeah background piece and then and you, even you these have ones a, here uh, is that this um, one here yes okay. but <laughs> i think if you cut your fabric a little differently than i did the first oh, you'd time have you'll have plenty okay yeah, yeah. gotcha we work through all i had a little the, all the struggles so that you don't have yeah to. i had a little tiny bit of a design struggle there, that's okay okay it's part so, of the process so what i did is i pressed them open and I, I just kind of lay them together because what I wanted to do was the make eight method with a layer cake. Okay. Mm. So also if you have a layer cake you can totally make this. Sure, easy, sure. easy peasy. You were just working with what you had. That's right. Okay so I just layered them together because I'm lazy and I only want to iron <laughs> a few things at a time that not all sense. of it. Except when you have your own ironer. That's true. It is probably a lot easier to get this done with a helper. We're probably going to need a pencil, too. Oh, yes. I just happened to think. You're absolutely right. Oh, well, you probably want that pretty fabric up. Why not? Pretty fabric up. And then I also folded it in half because I know I'm cutting a 10-inch mm. strip. So I'm going to make sure it's lined up along the fold on the line on the mat, and then I straighten my edge. This is so pretty. It is. It is. It's I beautiful. wish you guys could feel this. It's just a linen-y feel. It's very luxurious. Yeah, yeah, it just feels, it just, it does. It feels luxurious. That's a great word for it. Okay. So 10 inch strip, and then these are the strips that get used in the outer border. Oh, okay. So you can cut your two and a halves from that side. And if you don't have enough, you can just grab another fat quarter. And if you, yeah, if you, if you run out, that's what this one's here for. There we go. So th those are super easy. So and actually, you, you don't need to cut this background piece. I would take that out. I didn't, I didn't think about that as I was cutting until I finished cutting. Right, that's yeah. fine. Okay. I only use the dark ones. Okay, that makes sense. So... And just so you know, the fat quarter is the original pre-cut. Mm -hmm. You know, it was the first time that uh, they went and went ahead mm -hmm. and took took the yardage and cut it down into smaller packs and packaged it up for quilters so that they could get smaller pieces. And for a very long time, it was our only pre-cut. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then we did a few fat eights, things like that. Um, and then we started with the squares and the strips. And so... Um, you know, fat quarters are great. And remember that you can, if you don't have a pre-cut of squares, you can cut them out of fat quarters. And there are charts that tell you, like, you know, you're going to cut this many, um, you'll get this many 10-inch squares out of a fat quarter, you'll get this many 5-inch squares and that sort of thing. So they're very versatile as far as a cut, and they're beautiful in a stack on your oh, shelf. Yes, yes, they so are. So pretty. <laughs> yes, so pretty. Okay, so we're going to draw the X. You're going to do the diagonal, easy eight. easy eight. Easy eight. And um, I used a pen, but a pencil does seem to work. I thought maybe with the, the looser weave that it would get caught, but 
it's looks working. like it's working just great. All right, so we're going to so sew on, both, on sides. both sides of that line, and then we'll cut all of our half square triangles from it. And the other side. And then on the other X, cut these little babies. It was real, real tight. There we go. Okay. So for this, we're going to cut across first because it's good to cut where you don't have drawn lines just in case something gets mm -hmm. uh, moved around. A little trick my mom taught me. <laughs> <laughs> She's full of so many good ideas. So many All tricks. the hacks. Yep. Oop. Oh, sorry, Misty. No, you're good. I was just trying to give you room. Okay, so now we're going to press them all open and then we'll square them to four and a half with our block lock. Okay. So you don't have to press all of them. But just a few. Just at least two. All right, I can do that. Okay. I did think that this would be fun in um, really scrappy, but then once I started putting them together, I actually really liked the matching. Mm. Yeah, the color so, play. Yeah. It's beautiful. So I think it could go either way, you know, to your preference. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this because that's nice and straight on that side. This block, this four and a half inch block lock is really convenient because it, you just Oops. square to the size of the ruler. And so I like that. It makes it really easy. I love having a ruler that's the same size as my, block, I do my too. finishing block. It makes it almost so you just don't have to think about you don't have to think about the math at all. You're just cutting around the edges. This fabric is delightful. Isn't it? It really is. I'm enjoying pressing it. It's so nice. Yeah. So then all I did was make a bunch of flankies. Awesome. I put my lights together. 16. Yep. 16 flankies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. Yep. It's beautiful. That's the whole thing. Well, I am so... So I saw it as the darks together, but it's the lights together and the dark it's is on the other together, side. And then dark ends up creating the... The middle pattern. Yeah, you can yeah, show how so it... I'll, I'll show, if you'll press it, that'll yep. make show it look it prettier. There you go. There we go. So you just have all these little flying geese that fit together. And I did half, you know, going one way and half going the other. I put my, my lights and then my pinks and... You know, just, just whatever, alternated. just follow the, I do love follow the, the color diagram together. or make up your own. But that's all it is, is these cute little flying geese blocks. And on your back. And then we have a cute little border. And the Aww. back is this beautiful, um, what are these, uh, cone flowers? Cone flowers, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. And this? Yes. And that and was I have a that? little a little stripe. This is in the um, in the Fat Quarter Bundle as well. That is so cute. But, so, you know, you need, you need like a half a yard maybe for your binding. Maybe, if like that. probably three, yeah. three strips. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's so really that's cute. It. it really is that simple. It's just some half square triangles made into flying geese. And yeah. I love it. So these are and all the, super good ideas for you guys for the holidays. We know it's a rush time and now mm -hmm. you have three different uh, half square triangle ideas for quick and easy ways to fancy up your house or gift to your uh, friends or family. As the season approaches, this season of Christmas and Thanksgiving, we hope you remember those around you who are less fortunate than you are. And we hope that you also take time to be grateful and think about all the things you have in your life to be grateful for. So we hope you enjoyed this triple play from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.